the gameplay has just come to an end, but we're going we're gonna to keep going here for another minute. I'll probably throw some more gameplay up here. We may split this in half uh, because I really want to talk about something else along with this, and that is we see now that everything is starting to move into a more digital age. We've come from you know the old school antenna on top of a television, you know, aluminum foil wrapped around it, and people telling the kids to go change it to cable television, satellite television, to internet viewing and streaming. Now we're moving into uh, video game streaming, which has become huge because of things like League of Legends, StarCraft, Minecraft, Diablo 3, Call of Duty, Major League Gaming. These things are becoming huge. Like Optic Nade, for example, when he streams, he averages like 20,000 viewers. That's That's crazy. 20,000 viewers. Like, he gets, like, 20,000 viewers. And dude streams for, like, six and seven hours at a time. But, I mean, this is a professional gamer on one of the biggest teams for Call of Duty competitive esports in the world. Yeah, I know that they've been streaming a lot of Minecraft recently. That... Yeah, I think it's just they're – he's kind of said on Twitter, I've seen, where he's kind of burning out on Call of Duty, I think, just because it's reached the end of its cycle. Right. Which, I mean, is understandable. That happens. And I talked a little bit about that in another video, and everybody kind of understands it. But, uh, Carlos, so what I want to get uh, before we cut out of here for the evening and go enjoy a nice drink in the gentleman's corner somewhere is where do you think entertainment is headed now? Uh, so I know, I know this is going to sound backwards, but I think that at some point – like, you, you look at what Microsoft is trying to do with the Xbox One and what some of the cable companies are trying to do. I think that it's, I think at this point it is already at the sink or swim um, level for some of the big time television production companies. Your NBCs, your CBSs, like all, all that stuff. Right. I mean, they, they have an online presence and you can stream stuff from their websites. But I have a, I have a very strong feeling that you're going to start to see. The ability to broadcast, or, or that they're going to use certain things to the to broadcast from what would be the internet to to TV. Uh, I mean, why is there such a big drive for for television integration with the Xbox One and and the PS4? You know, I mean, I th I think that the old people who were in charge of those those forms of of media are getting old, retiring, dying, and then the younger people who are taking their places understand that that they're losing. They're losing that battle. Yeah. It's uh, cable companies are recording a lot of losses in their, you know, their subscribers. Right. And and you know, I can see that considering that now the internet, which is a much cheaper service to use than cable, uh, has everything. You can find whatever you want, whether that's through legal or illegal means. You can find whatever you want on the internet. You missed the episode of your favorite show? That's cool. You can visit a torrent site and you can download it. It can just happen. So really, I think it kind of uh, – it's comparable, I believe, to the music business and how piracy has crippled it from, uh, from a consumer standpoint. You know, People don't buy CDs anymore. They don't buy albums. If they do, it's some hipster digging through a dollar bin looking for a vinyl record, you know? Right. And then posting a picture of it on Instagram with seven filters on it and with a baked potato. This is what I had for dinner and what I bought afterwards. <laughs> so I think that they're going to have to embrace that like the music business has been doing by making one track at a time from a CD available for like 99 cents. You can download it on iTunes. You don't want the whole album. I mean, it's... Just download the song. It's been proven time and time again that, like, I, just recently I saw something, um, some of the independent music out there that is downloaded more, like, in air quotes, illegally, right. is actually making more money than some of the stuff. that. Because, I'll be honest with you, gone are the days of me going out and buying a CD or album, unless I really, really want to support that artist without listening to it first. Mm -hmm. You know? I... I, I still buy a CD, and, and usually it'll come with a digital download, or I'll buy an album off of off of iTunes. But before I do, I'll listen to the whole album first, and the way I'll do that is I'll go and download it. Yeah. And like for me, like I, I'm a fan of like more old school rap, and a lot of the newer stuff is just fucking terrible. Like you might get that one single on the on the album, and the rest is just, I mean, I mean it's garbage. I I, I can't listen to it. And so 
I just won't listen to it, you know? But, like, for instance, there's some bands like... I don't know if you know who Fits in the Tantrums is. No, I never heard of um, them. <coughs> I don't even... I don't know how you would categorize it. I guess it's considered rock, but it, it's kind of like folky rock or whatever. And, and I have a really weird sense of entertainment... Or sense of interest in the type of music, but I found them because... Yeah, I can I, hear that because you just said you like old school rap, and now you're talking about folk rock. So <laughs> it's not really folk rock. You got to listen to it. It's got a heavy '70s influence, which I grew up on that music, you know, through influences in my family. But you know, that's neither here or there. I I would never have found them if I didn't. I was reading through some suggestions on Reddit on a website, and somebody was like, "You really need to check out this this group." and I couldn't really find anything at that point on online. You, there was not too much like on YouTube or anything that I could find. So I downloaded a copy of an album. I listened to it, and then like literally like three weeks later, they like blew up on YouTube. But I went out and bought that album because I listened to all the songs and I really liked it. 